may be seated. Thank you. Everything about him, not only everything written, everything about him is great. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Everything about him is great. That is, everything about God is great. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Viewers all over the world, I say good morning. Hallelujah. Believing first and seeing. Tell your neighbor, believing first and seeing. Mm, because this is what has happened to you now. Believing first and seeing. You just believe. Not that actually on the natural you have seen anything. But you believe. That is why you are singing, you are dancing. Because you believe, you see. You see the glory of God. Tell your neighbor, because you believe first, you will see the glory of God. I can hear you. I can't hear you. Because there are many people here that have so much pain, anxiety, tension, and the, the kind of mood they came here with. So terrified. But suddenly they started and said that they weren't given step since morning. Because they believe first, you see the glory of God. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, because I believe first. I will see the glory of God. And the goodness of God is coming. Because you believe first. Say, because I believe first. The glory, the goodness of God is mine. Because I believe first. The goodness of God is mine. Hallelujah. Yes. The thing that keeps us from despairing is not what we see, but what we believe. The things that keeps us from despairing, from worrying, downcast, is not what we see, but what we believe. This is why we have so many rich men today with wealth, just talk about, but yet, they're despairing. They are not happy. They are worried. With what we can see with them, material wealth, property, money, yet, no joy. The thing that keeps us from despairing is not what what, but what? what we believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's take a look at the book of Luke. The book of Luke 22 verse 32. But I have prayed for you. That is you. So that your faith may not fail. I'm trying to be personal here. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. What is good for Simon is good for me. Tell your neighbor. Uh, what is for Simon is for me. Yes, if Jesus is saying to Simon, I have prayed for you, he's talking to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Like we say, believe in first and see. Yes. As a Christian, as a believer, as a born again, as a friend of Jesus, as a favorite of kingdom of God, that you are a born again Christian or favorite of kingdom 
say, kingdom is your, is sure, that very, very sure that you enter that kingdom is yours. That does not mean that you are out of touch. That does not mean you are out of war. Sickness will test you. Hardship will test you. But they cannot destroy you. Affliction of all kinds may test you. They can only test you. That you are a child of God, you are born again, you are a candidate of heaven, you are a favorite, you are an apostle, whatever. That does not mean you are out of touch. Tribulation may test you. It cannot destroy you. The book of John 16 verse 33 says, in this world there will be tribulation. Cheer up. I have overcome. Also, that book of Luke we just read, 22 verse 32. It say, I have prayed that your faith will not fail. This means there will be some factors, issue that will challenge your faith. I have prayed that your faith will not fail. This means there will be some factors, issue that will challenge your faith. All of which means as a Christian, whatever you are going through serves. a useful purpose. Thus, to form and strengthen your character, to form and strengthen your what? Your character. The best time to strengthen character when the goings are tough You can only get a promotion after war. Two, to prepare you for internal glory that lies ahead. What you are passing through to prepare you for internal glory that lies ahead. So, as you maintain a relationship with God, through faith, take note. There are many people that claim to maintain relationship, that they claim they have relationship with God, but the one I'm talking about, through faith, because it is this faith that enable us to endure and to overcome the tears and hardship that confront our daily lives. Let's look at the word faith then. The word faith. Let's go to the book of Hebrew. Hebrew 11. I think Hebrew 11 actually the actual meaning, the definition you would like. Hebrew 11, verse 1. Are you there? Remember, believing first 
and sin. Are you there? Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Mm. It's saying faith is the evidence of things not seen. Evidence of things not what? I can't hear you. Evidence of things not seen. Whichever translation you choose, faith deals with things we cannot see. I mean, faith is related to two realities, God and his word. Whichever definition, whichever translation, whichever meaning you have, Faith is all about two phenomena. Two phenomena. God and his word. With two phenomena. God and his word. So this is why I say as you maintain a relationship with God through faith, there is no way you can maintain relationship or have relationship with God without faith. Only faith pleases him. And faith is all about two phenomena, God and his word. The challenge we face today is the way we literally use faith, literally, in secular speech, in secular speech. People speak of faith in the economy. People speak of faith in a medicine. People speak of faith in a political leader. Many a time you hear people say they are stepping out in faith to a new venture. What does this mean in the literal meaning? It means they don't know what will happen next. Me, they don't know what future holds. Faith in the Bible is not used in that way. But this is the faith we invent to our spiritual life. We invent that usage, that way. This is life we live. In other words, they feel the hard to try something new and take a stab at it. But Bible faith is not used that way. Bible faith is related solely and exclusively to two realities. God and his word. Next meeting we want to talk about the use of faith we invented to our spiritual entity. The use of faith, the way we see faith out there, 
is what we invented here to the church. So, well, we are stepping out in faith to a new venture. No, that is not faith we are talking about. The faith we are talking about is faith that lifts us, lifts us above the realm of our own abilities and makes God's possibilities available to us. Faith lifts us above the realm of our own abilities and make God's possibilities available to us. That is the faith we talk about. 